In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new vibe coding AI agent called Emergent. Now, what makes this different from uh, many of the other different vibe coding platforms out there? Well, the first thing is the fact that you can create an app just by speaking what you want and have it as a production ready product that you can literally start charging access for. Whereas a lot of other different vibe coding platforms that have come out really make a sort of minimum viable product, you know, pretty looking front end maybe, but it doesn't really work work. So that's the difference with using Emergent. And there's a link beneath this video if you wanna go and try them out by the way as well. So we're talking, you can create full stack applications with databases, working APIs, secure authentication, and have a production ready infrastructure that's scalable. So that's what makes it really different. Now in this video, we're gonna try it out and I'm actually gonna create a website with an app that I've personally been using uh, on another site for quite some time. And now I thought, well, let's just try and create my own app using Emergent. So let's get stuck right on in. So here's the back end of Emergent. This is what you see once you've signed up and you've logged in. We've got our main prompt area just here where you just explain exactly what it is you want Emergent to create. Uh, underneath, you've got the ability to attach images. For example, if you wanted it to create a really nice landing page and you've seen a site that you like, you can screenshot it and then upload it here. Anything really that helps it understand what it is that you want it to create. Then you can also connect to your GitHub uh, repository, either a public one or your own private one just here. Then this is the uh, two different versions available at the moment of the Emergent Engine 1 and 1.1, which is in beta just there. And then on the bottom right, you've got the settings here and advanced controls. So you can choose a full stack template or a base Python template. And importantly, you've also got the ability to control the amount of credits that are being used to create whatever it is you would like it to build. So I've got mine set to five there, but you can up it as you go. If you if the system goes to build you an app and it starts running out of credits, it will just say to you, you need to add some more, which you can do. And it's very inexpensive as well. And uh, just to give you an idea of the quality of things that it can create, I was just having a little play around just here. This agent at the moment is paused. And the prompt that I used was to create a landing page for an AI and machine learning course featuring uh, the syllabus, interactive preview, enrollment, and so on. Just that little sentence just there, and this is what it built. A really nice professional looking landing page. There's the, the timer there and everything all working. You know, active buttons, and then roll over here on all of these elements. And then a space for you to put your course video in just there. And then a really nice, neat syllabus. And by the way, it kind of worked out the entire syllabus of the course for us. Uh, and we were able to then agree with it. And here it all is like this. And then the FAQ at the bottom down there. And then a proper uh, nice footer as well with all of the usual things that you'd expect to see. So it can produce a really good looking website. And as I say, it's all hosted and done. And then here was another one that I found that it created which is really nice this is like a, a professional photographer's website and you've got like a nice portfolio just here as you can see where you can open everything up I mean to have this sort of coded for you by a developer would take forever and cost you a lot of money and a lot of back and forth but this sets you off right from the beginning with a high quality looking landing page but something that I have always wanted to uh, create because I use it all the time is this website here this is called compressor and it's a really simple one page site where you upload a file maybe a JPEG PNG any kind of image and then it will just shrink it and it will compress it, but it looks exactly the same. So the image looks fantastic. You can see the difference here, like there's before and there's after, and you, you really can't tell any difference, but the file sizes drop huge. So it's a useful little tool, and I'd like to try and recreate it using Emergence. So 
we will now go ahead and do that right from the beginning. So the first job is, of course, to explain exactly what it is that I would like Emergent to create. And I'm going to upload a screenshot, actually, of the website that I was just showing you just now. So it kind of understands exactly um, what it is that we want, roughly. And I'll just put in my prompt right here. So I would like you to build me a web app that allows users to upload an image in in the format of a JPEG or PNG and to have it compressed so that the file size is smaller but the image quality remains high. And there we go. So there is my prompt. Pretty basic, I feel, but we will just click go and now let's see what it can do with that. With the help of the image, the AI agents will now get to work. Well, now here's the good thing with Emergent is that you don't kind of get one you get several that fulfill the role you would normally have developers do. So you'll have like a front-end person, a back-end person, you'll have a DevOps person, and so on. And it will it has an agent basically for each of these different roles that all talk to each other to complete the task that you give it, which is fantastic. And by the way, I am not a developer at all, and I can't write any code. I know a little bit of HTML, and that's about it. So if if the uh, agent gets into trouble, I'm certainly not going to be able to step in and be able to uh, help it. So I think it's important that you're watching someone here doing vibe coding with Emergent that really doesn't know how to code at all, which may be the same as yourself. So now the agent has done its initial bit of work here. It's asking for some input, which is great because it means you get a better end result. So it's saying, um, I can see you've shared an inspiration image of a professional image compression website. This gives me a great understanding of what you're looking for. And then it's kind of going through the phases there, uh, core image compression, functionality. It's saying that it's going to use React, uh, a React app. It's going to create with drag and drop image upload interface. A back end will use a fast API endpoint to handle image compression using pillow library. This is gobbledygook to me. I have no idea what pillow library is, but hey, I'm just a vibe coder trying to make an app here. So uh, phase two, enhanced UI and features. Uh, professional UI inspired by the design you showed. And then uh, progress indicators, good idea, just to let you know people know how far it is through the process. Um, then we've got phase three, a quality slider for use control or user control. That's quite a good idea. Uh, compression method options, i.e. lossy or lossless. And batch processing for multiple images. So there's the plan. Um, and I've got to just answer these questions here. So number one, should I start with a, should I start with built-in Python compression? For the MVP, would you prefer to integrate with a professional compression like uh, Tiny PNG? I will say no. I'm just going to use like Python for now because I don't want to have to go off and go and get a Tiny PNG API. And then it's got quality versus size. I'm going to go with, um, so number one, I'll say Python library, pillow. There we go. And then uh, for number two, I'm going to say that I think the image quality is probably the most important thing just there because I don't want to lose so much quality. It looks awful. File size limits. Let's say that the upload max, five megabytes upload max, we'll say, um, just for the purpose of doing this. And then additional features. Um, I see the options like lossy and lossless compression. Should I include these? I'll just say yes. There we go. So now once we've done that, we continue. You can see the amount of credits that have been used so far, 0.189 of the five that I have allocated to do the job. So we'll click continue and off it goes again. So in literally minutes, it's already done the first part here. You can see it's saying, um, I'll build this using pillow library with quality as the prioritization. And here's the three files that it's already created just here for us. It's got CSS there. It's about the only thing that I understand there. Um, and then it's got great. I've created the core image compression app. Uh, now let me add pillow to the requirements and install it, which it's doing that now. And we can take a look at exactly what it's doing. Look at all this stuff going on in the background. And we don't have to worry about that because, as I say, you know, it's taking care of everything, whether we're a coder or we're not. Now what I really like is that you also get a QA person, that's quality assurance, to check over the app and make sure it all works properly. And of course, this was what was very annoying about the earlier vibe coding 
trading apps and even some of the ones that are out there now is that they produce something that's terrible and you've got to find the issues with it. Whereas with Emergent here, it's doing it itself because it's got this QA uh, agent that's looking after the app. So it's done already. Your app is now running. And then here is the URL just here if we want to go and test it out. And what it's done is it's tested the back end API. Endpoints are all working correctly. Front end loading is good. File validation. So obviously you don't want to be out uploading a PDF or something. It has to be an image. And then um, just here, it's asked me if I'd like to add some more features as well, some enhancements such as batch processing for multiple images and some other formats like WebP and AVIF. So advanced compression presets, image preview before and after comparison. I really like that image preview before and after. So I'll just tell it to do that. Please add image preview forward stroke after comparison. There we go. Now it will go off and it will add that extra feature. God, wouldn't it be good if we had this years ago? We could have been building all kinds of apps, but the time is now and that's, uh, you know, the beauty of AI. So it's going through this process of adding this new feature really uh, quickly and simply here and with such sort of common logical sense, which just shows that the different agents that are involved with Emergent here are working together to really get this job done. So first you can see it says, now let me add the before and after comparison section to the UI. Uh, and then it's gonna remove the old result section because it had already done that coding. And they're gonna keep the download functionality, but also give you the before and after functionality as well. Then it's going through and changing the CSS to make it look really nice. And uh, yeah, we're just at the process now where it's doing the last bit of code adjustments and then we'll be able to actually try out this new app, which I am really excited to do. And by the way, if you ever need to um, roll back any adjustments that it's made, you can just click on the roll back just there. And you can also copy as well by clicking on that icon just there. Now it's finished doing all the amendments and added this new feature. It is doing the best thing ever, which is to test its own work again. I mean, honestly, my real life developers sometimes don't even test their own work. So to have this uh, do it straight away, is actually really quite refreshing. Now, here's an example of what I was saying earlier. It's just got to the very last point and it's saying that we've reached the limit that we set for it, um, which was just five credits and it's used 5.4 so all you can do is just press increase budget and it's super super cheap anyway so it really doesn't matter so I'm just going to up it to 10 if it needs it um, to create my app and then it will just carry on and uh, do the job for you so the moment of truth it has done it and it says now um, here it is uh, I've successfully added the image preview and uh before and after comparison feature you requested and here's what's been enhanced. Now I won't go through and read it all out because I think now we need to actually test it out and you can do it right within the app or you can go to here and grab that URL and, and just click on it and go to view it. So I'm going to click on preview and there it is and then we can open it up using this little link like that and there is our image compressor. Now it looks good but does it work? So let's test it out. I went and grabbed a couple of these wallpapers that are pretty big. This one here in particular, if I downloaded it, uh, here we go, the original size is huge and it's like four megabytes. So now let's take that to our brand new image compressor. We'll click select file. There it is, your 4.4 megabytes. It's pretty big and it's, wow, just there. Look at that, original is 4.21. And it's just waiting now to compress it. We can choose whether we want lossy or lossless, just like we could with compressor.io. And then we've even got our slider here as to the quality of the image that we'd like. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to say like 80%. I'll go with lossy. And then now we click compress image and see if it does does the magic. Wow, look at that. Done. And it's taken, it's got the before and after just there. If I just zoom in a little bit, look at that. You can barely see any difference at all, but it shaved off a whole 16.64% uh, off that original image size just there. And I can obviously crush this down if I want to. Let's try that now. Let's go for image quality 65 and then see if we can um, do that. And then we've got a nice button there ready to go where we can just download the compressed image. Let's see if it works. 
there it is it's just done it 3.5 megabytes downloaded so i am really impressed with this this is fantastic so now i've adjusted this to 65 percent we can see now that we've shaved off 40% of the image size. And again, if we zoom in, these two look practically identical in my eyes. So there's really uh, nothing different there at all just to look at them. But we've shaved 40% off. So let's download that image now. And I'll actually open it up just here on my desktop and look at that. It looks incredible absolutely fantastic quality and my brand new image compression website here that i can monetize and now you know charge people for to go premium and have unlimited amount of images and everything is done and if you ask me i think it's actually better than this website and i did it in five well no let's have a look i did it in about 15 minutes with zero coding experience using Emergent. And this can be a standalone website. You could add free tool to your own business website. That's a great way to bring in new people to your site is to have free tools that you have on your website. And I think this has done a really professional job. I mean, this is changing the game now for me. So um, this is Emergent.sh. You can click the link underneath this video. Go and check them out. And now let's talk about pricing because this is what I feel is very very good if we go to manage subscriptions i'm on the starter tier and it's ten dollars a month and that's given me 50 credits and one thing i know you'll want to know is how many credits did i use to do this well i allocated i think five originally and in the end it has used eight credits to create this standalone web app that I could now monetize or use as a lead magnet to get people to come and you go to my website. So I think that's an insane value. And this is a very exciting app, in my opinion. Uh, if you are using it to create something, why not put a link in the comments to something you've created using the Emergent app? I would love to take a little look and see what you've been up to with it too. And that is it for this video. I hope you got something from this. I hope you're excited by the potential um, and what you can do with these AI agents now. And I'll see you in the next video in just a minute.